Hello, and welcome to the very first episode of A Moat in Mind Squish. I am the Moat, and this is Mind Squish. This is going to be a part Let's Play, part Server Tour series. We're going to go over and just do some of the regular Let's Play stuff of mining and gathering resources, and we'll go to the end, uh, excuse me, go to the nether, and hopefully go to the end and battle the Ender Dragon. We'll just sort of have some fun doing that stuff, build a house, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but we'll be doing it here on the Mind Squish server. We'll be doing it in survival, of course. And we'll also do some server tour pieces. We'll go off and visit the towns and some of the cool builds, uh, some of the amazing builds uh, that are available on the server. And we'll visit the different worlds that we can see and just sort of have some fun. Uh, and um, I'll, I'll just start right off. One of the other things is that hopefully you'll be able to laugh at some of the stuff I do. I'm not the world's greatest Minecraft player, but I do have fun, and that's the key to it for me. So we're going to get started here. Uh, just uh, We'll just leap into it, I guess. So as I said, I'm the moat, and this is our the main world. This is Persephone main spawn. You'll notice we still have some of our Christmas decorations up there. Uh, so this is just the beginning of January 2015. We're about halfway through the month. And this is the main spawn on our main home world of Persephone. This is where we build our homes, and this is where we have uh, our long-term storage. This, this world sticks around for a long term and long time. And when you first spawn in, this is where you're going to spawn in. This uh, is uh, the main spawn point. It's known to most players as Help, but the proper name is Ease Down Docks. This is the main dock that we're standing on. Over there behind me is the utility dock. We'll go over there in just a minute. Uh, there's the farm dock behind us over there. And over that direction is the portal dock. And we'll actually see each of those here in just a minute. Then we're going to go off to our exploration world. And the exploration world is where we do our mining and gathering trees and getting wood and all that stuff. This home world is designed to stick around for a long time. So we don't do our mining here because pretty soon there wouldn't be anything left. There's a brand new exploration world every few months. We'll talk about that in just a minute as well. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, whoop. Wrong one. Hello, go away. There we go. Um, yeah, it keeps doing this. I lose my view for a second. There we go. All right, so we'll switch around. We'll pop on over here, get our GUI back, and we'll head on out to the food, the community farm. Uh, it says the farm's up there, so we know. So out here at the community farm, we have wheat, we have carrots and potatoes, we have cocoa beans and the pumpkins and melons, that kind of stuff. So we're going to gather a few of these just to get ready. Uh, I don't have anything. Whoops, I'm in the wrong... Um, wrong mode. Let me go ahead and get out of that. Now, I've been playing on MindSquish for about a year and a half. I actually have the honor and privilege of being a staff member on the server, so I do have creative capabilities and privileges. Um, and obviously I was still in creative at that time, so we'll check now. I've got nothing in my inventory, and I'm in survival, so we're ready to start. We're going to go ahead and collect, and collect some of the carrots here, both for food, but also for wrangling pigs if we need to. We, of course, need to replant. And uh, we'll go ahead and grab a little bit of everything here. I want to make some cookies. Let's try to replant properly here. It's really easy to go ahead and plant carrots everywhere, and that's not really what we need. Alright. So we'll take get off to a start on that. And so this is here for anybody who needs it. Oops, too fast, too far. Now we'll go ahead and get this all planted. So now we've replanted everything. I'm going to go ahead and grab a pumpkin. I tend to like using the pumpkins for uh, jack-o'-lanterns. So we'll grab a couple, hopefully, well, there we go, uh, for seeds so that we can start a little farm out in our exploration world by our mining camp. And that's the primary goal for this episode, is just to get out to exploration, try to find a nice place to put up a little mining camp, and uh, set ourselves up to have some fun. Um, go ahead and replant this while we're at it. And go ahead and grab a few more of these while I'm at it. There we go. All right, replant those. Now we're going to head over to the tool dock. Now before we do that, I'm actually going to pause the video. And because I've been playing on my Squish for a while, I actually have a horde full of food. So even in survival, I could actually just have my, uh, my own stash of food and maybe use that. 
but I wanted to show you where the community farm was, and I wanted to start off sort of brand new, you know, fresh. But if a new player was to start and come and join in a few minutes, they would find half, you know, the farm was half grown. So I'm going to pause the video for a minute, and uh, I'm going to grab some bone meal, and just make sure this is up to speed and ready for the next player if they need it, since I've already been here for a while. So I'll be right back. So let's just pause the video here for a moment. All right, so we've gone ahead and, and uh, regrown everything and got everything all started back here so that the next player is ready for it. Of course, the melons and pumpkins will come back on their own. And whoops, I missed the, the cocoa beans. So just one moment, we'll be right back. All right, we're back and we actually have one of our friends here. Oh. Uh, let me just sort of respond here, get back to it. So can't right now. That was nice. So this is one of our players and uh, Uplift Wolf. We're just chatting for a moment here. So I'm going to head off and do the video. Um, but uh, obviously there's, a lot, there's players who come on all the time. You can always find somebody to play with. It. Normally I'd be happy to run off and we can go do an adventure together. But for the video, I think at least for the start off here, we're going to go ahead and just do it solo. Uh, it's just going to be a little easier uh, so that I can talk all about Mind Squish while we're at it. So let's head on back over to... Oh, by the way, I did finally get those uh, cocoa beans bone, bone meal back up, so they're all ready to go. And we're going to head right on over here to the utility docks. You know, that's not the proper name. What does it say? It's a uh, crafting room. All right, good enough. So we even have a trash bin, so if you want to get rid of it, you can put it in there. Okay, good. Thanks. Um, and then we have a high power enchanting table. We have a low power one over here. Brewing stands. You can just see we've got pretty much everything you need. Um, ender chests, the whole nine yards. Looks like we need a new anvil here. Uh, and so all I really need, I don't have enough to really do much with, is um, go ahead and start off our, our uh, food. So, got a few extras. I'll be good for later. In fact, let me go ahead and move some of this stuff up. Get it out of my place. And now, so if you need to do crafting here, you can come over and do your crafting over here. Now we're going to head on over to the portal dock. And over here is the portal room, or the portals to many of the worlds. Uh, our big build, big build world, where we have a lot of our really, truly big builds. A portal in the nether for a quick exam uh, over there. We have special worlds that show up here and there, for that's uh, over there. So the Pumpkin Fiend Survival is over there. I don't think that's... I think we're calling it Pumpkin Fiend Survival. I can't remember right now. Tree Build is a creative land. Um, exploration is where we're going to go. It's where we gather our resources. Squishmas Quest was a special world that's uh, still available. We'll, we'll go check out these worlds as we get a chance. Build-Off Challenge. So every two weeks we have a, a new build-off challenge. It's done in creative. We'll go check out some of those things. The Roleplay World is a special world for donors. Uh, we won't go visit that because it's, uh, well, it's just kind of a neat thing to see for donors. Uh, so I don't think we'll actually be going to visit that. We are going to run over here to Exploration. Let's see where it is. Of course, it's nighttime. Oh, boy. All right. Let's see if we have any friends. Now, this is a brand new Exploration World. I have seen this little part of it before. Um, well, it's just the beginning of night, of course. Uh, uh, let's see what happens. I don't see anybody trying to attack me yet, so that's good. Um, to the mountain. Hmm. Sure does look like an interesting mountain. I love that little kind of beehive thing up there. Gotta take a look at that at some point. But you can see people have already started building their homes. This world is re-rolled. A brand new world replaces it. Well, look up there. That's pretty. Uh, people are really creative. It's amazing what they build out here. Um, and of course, we're working on the 1-8 world, so we have these cool new doors. So they have some end stone to play with there. And uh, some pretty cool stuff out here. And this is definitely a, a very interesting world. Let's take a look around. Uh, it does have, obviously, some of the basics, so we could have come and done our crafting here. And I'm going to risk it. Let me see how we're doing over here. So there's the portal back to main spawn if, if we want it. But I'm going to head up over this direction and see how we do. All right, so the main goal of uh, this episode is just to go find a good place to have a uh oh 
I have no weapons. Hmm. Uh, let's go find a good place for a little mining camp. I sure do love that. That sure does look pretty. Okay, sorry. I'm easily distracted. Squirrel. Hmm. Alright, where is the moon here? That's coming along. We want to gather some of this wood, but I don't really have anything to fight with. Let's see. Let's. We're going to take a chance. I don't. Oh, creeper, right? Look at that little buddy right over there hanging out there. There's a zombie. Hmm. They're waiting for me. Oof. Well, we'll try it out here. Let's just see. Try to listen for him. We're going to go over. I hear you. Yeah, that zombie's going to see me from a mile away. Maybe? No? Okay. Let's grab this while he's preoccupied then. Um, we're going to do the normal let's play stuff in this. We'll punch some wood, get some of that going. And there's some water I saw here. We're going to go take a, a little boat ride, I think. So we'll gather what we can from this. And let's... Um, Let's uh, go ahead and take advantage of this. Create our crafting table. And get working on that. I hear you. Where are you? Oh, there he comes. Oh, I heard that. <laughs> Sounds like I'm not the only one out here. Oh, this is going to be bad. Ah, there you go. Let's see if I can get him by just knocking him off the hill a few times here. Oh, something happened there. All right. Let's see. Try to make sure he doesn't blow up on me here, because he will take me with me, with him again. Come on, you gotta die eventually here. Hey, what do you know? We got it. All right. We'll go ahead and grab that for later use. And let's go finish doing what we're doing here. Any saplings yet? I'm a big believer in replanting trees, by the way. Especially when there's no need for me to clear out the space. Let's see if we're going to get one. No. Yeah, but I am going to get a zombie buddy. Great. Go away. Let's see. I'm serious. Go away. Probably calling every zombie in a hundred square blocks. I just want to craft a few items here, guys. Leave me alone. Ooh. Yep. Alright, let's head out of here. Let's see how long we have. Not much longer. Come on, guys. Step down here and have a cookie. Here, have a cookie. Hey, what do you know? That worked. Oh, the mighty cookie. Cookie would be so happy. No, you're not going anywhere. Oh, there's your buddy. Good lord. Good gosh, there's a ton of you guys floating around here. Alright, let's take care of this guy. Alright, finally. Huff. Oh, that was exhausting. I need a cookie just to recover from it. Oops. That's one thing that we've noticed recently with the update to 1.8. Sometimes if you are pointing at a block and try to eat, uh, it will act as if you're eating, but you don't actually get to eat anything. We're okay, we're good. Let's go down here. So I can't replant that tree. I'm a little bummed about that, but that's okay. All right. Um, let's get our sticks. And we'll get our pick and our axe. And I'm going to want a boat. And let's go ahead and just... Oh, nope, don't even have enough. Okay, so we'll... We'll go with that. We'll keep that as our 
primary weapon right now. Alright, now... We... Oh, hey! Some pumpkins. Um, you'll notice if you look down here in the lower left corner of my screen, it says set uh, first position set to. Uh, the wooden axe uh, is used as a, as a edit tool so that you can save your schematics if you want to. So normally you can't use a wooden axe. Most people don't, so it's not a big deal. But if you ever want to use uh, a uh, wooden axe at the beginning, just use the toggle edit one. You'll see it says the one, edit one disabled. It's probably hard to see on the, on the screen. I'll try to bring that up to a, something a little more crisp and clear for the next video. So we're just going to go out here. We're going to say hi to our buddy over here. Yes, go away. And then we're going to take a little... Ouch. All righty. You get anything good from him? Nope. All right. So we're going to head off. Oh, hello. And try not to fall down into big holes. Uh, but I saw some water. Not this way, I think it was. Where was it? Um... So we're going to head over this way, and we're going to hit the water. We're going to go take a look for someplace interesting to mine, and we'll call it a, a day once we find that. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. Yeah, let's just head on down there. Take off. Whee! Oof. Ouch. Broke my ankle. Oh, well. I've got cookies. Who cares if I have a broken ankle? And bunny rabbits. We're usually we're using one dot as you can tell. I've even got carrots, so I could adopt these little guys, but I don't want them swimming out with me, so we're gonna head over here and hop in the water. And let's see where do we want to head. I think we're gonna just kinda head that direction. Oh, don't if I can get to my boat. There we go. That's interesting, we meant. <laughs> yeah, I saw in chat that some folks were saying that there's some interesting uh, cuts on this. The black spots, I think, are actually just uh, some Optifine. Oh, yeah, some shading issues, probably with Optifine. I'm, I am using Optifine, not any use, not using any other mods. Dark Forest over there, that's good to know if we want some of that wood. But let's head out this direction. Let's see what we can do across the ocean a little bit. Hmm. The idea is to not build right at spawn. There'll be more chance that I'll uh, won't run across somebody else's mine. Oh, not a particularly big ocean, but um, hmm. Wait a minute. Ooh, snow. Well, I'm a sucker for a snow biome. So let's head on over and take a look. Swimming rabbit. You go, buddy. Oops. Sorry, folks. That's interesting. <laughs> wonder where he's going. All right. Let's slow ourselves down here a bit so we don't crash our boat, hopefully. I always lose these things to because uh, I crash into the, the wall or something. But not this time. All right. I actually got my boat back. Great. All right. Let's climb up here and see what we have to work with. Um, there we go. Ooh. Hmm. I sure do like the look of that. I think maybe I won't go too far. Maybe I'll just kind of hang out here. All right. Well, I think this is uh, actually probably going to be our our home here for a little bit. We'll uh, kind of get settled in here a little bit. Um, we'll pop the end of probably building a home up there. Let's see, got some coal right there. We want to go grab that. And bunnies galore. Have to grab some of these dudes. And uh, got some lumber if we need it. All right, let's just go ahead and grab this real quick while I'm uh, doing the exciting work of collecting. Ah, uh, yes, the first piece of coal and enough cobblestone to make some better tools and weapons. I'll tell you a little bit about my experiences on MindSquish. Now, I've been on MindSquish, playing on MindSquish for um, about a year and a half, I guess. 
I've been playing Minecraft for two years now. Started off with Pocket Edition and graduated up to the PC version. I still play the Pocket Edition to, you know, especially for prototype crafting and things like that. Look at this. Beautiful. Really? Oh, yeah. Some nice start. Yeah, hey, buddy. I'm sorry I interrupted you. Look at all of you guys hanging out up there. Yeah, I think I'll head out this way. Um, you know, I love this plateau, but I think... Uh, let's see. How, you guys aren't burning up yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, hello. Got a little too close. Come on, guys. There you go. Um, oh, no drones too. There we go. Alright, um, gosh, I don't, there's so many beautiful choices over here. It looks kind of nice too. But I sure do love this kind of plateau up there, but it's really close to spawn. So we'll head out here real quick. Uh, anyway, so I've, I've been playing on Mind Squish for um, just about uh, a year and a half. And I actually have the privilege of being a uh, staff member on the server. Um, it's a great group of people who are who work on the, the server and keep it a safe place to be. And the downside of cookies is that they just don't fill you up for long. Um, and they do. It's a great group of people. And the, the community is a great community. There's lots of uh, good folks who play on the server, some amazing builders and things like that. Mindsquish is a family-friendly server. I mean, it's appropriate for kids of all ages, and that includes me, thankfully. Uh, my son, uh, Little Barrow Seven, plays uh, plays on the server as well. We both joined at the same time. My niece, Pink Buddy Bear, also plays on the server, and even my wife, Little Bear's mom, Mama Barrow Seven, uh, we all uh, play on the server from time to time. So if you see any of us, please. Take a moment and say hi, and uh, we'd love to say hi. Sorry, just trying to figure out where to go. I'm I'm really torn between uh, picking a spot over there by that little floating mesa and heading a little farther out here. Um, well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna I think not make a decision quite yet because I would like to go a little farther out before we make set up our base camp. So I will set up our base camp at the, the beginning of the next uh, video and we'll in the next episode and we'll try to capture figure out uh, get the get the mine going. Um, wow, this, this is gorgeous. Look some really interesting structures, uh, landscape created during this generation. Uh, this this world if, uh, I think I said earlier was uh, is just brand new, it's just recently created. Wow, look at that. Hmm. And we've got a forest, so lots of wood out that direction. Doesn't look like we can go wrong through any of this. Um, so we're going to call this video here. Uh, we'll pick it up again in the next video. We can go actually set up our mining camp. Gosh, all kinds of choices. Got those beautiful dark forest trees over there, too. Now, this is kind of a nice little location. It's got a lot of, of everything. And, ooh, that sound. Oh, that sound means there's a big cavern right down there. Wonderful. Excellent news. So I think we will kind of hang out here and maybe make at least our first base out this direction someplace. Maybe we'll just build up right in there someplace. A uh, long way down to start for the mine, though. Hmm. Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right. As you can tell, I'm not always the most organized of players. We've got some wool over there for beds. Excellent. All right, guys. Well, this has been the very first episode. I appreciate you putting up with uh, some of the nuances and our beating zombies to death with cookies, but uh, you do what you have to do. Looking forward to seeing you again on the next episode. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, constructive comments and appropriate family-friendly comments are always welcome. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments and we'll try to address them in the next video. So, thanks a lot and we'll see you later.